Hello, everybody. Oof, this is a little too close to the head. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome to Coffee Break with Terra by Laura. It's Friday. It's Friday, April 10. And it's my BFF's birthday. Christian Ortiz, happy birthday. And sorry, I'm getting so much out of the out of the thing. So anyway, today is Friday, April 10, 2020. And today we're going to be doing the learning the card of the week. I have the Rider White Smith Tarot, which I think is the best tarot to teach. And to get familiar with the cards. Just to remind you that I am doing online tarot readings and I am doing um, distance Reiki healing and they're both at discounted prices. And to remind you to shop small, to remember all of those small shops that are your local shops and buy gift cards if you can or give certificates and without further ado i feel so weird because i don't know if anybody's watching i don't like this facebook algorithm i know i've told you before first world problems right <laughs> i cannot see if you're watching um but anyway i hope you are and let's see what the card of the day is for us to learn today what does the great mother wants us to learn today in case you missed it yesterday yesterday we did um full moon healing ritual on spanish it is on my YouTube channel. It is also on this page on Facebook. I think I shuffled enough times. Let's see which card do we have for today. We have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of fire. Let me give you my interpretation first. The Eight of Wands is a card that says, uh, concentrate all your energy on the task at hand. Don't let the little nuances of life or the little nuances of people distract you from your path. You do have a path to follow and the Eight of Wands comes to remind you that your precious energy is not to be wasted on people, places, or situations that are just not worthy of your attention. So there you have it, the eight of wands. Concentrate on the task at hand and put all your energy on working on what you work in at this moment. And of course, um, the explanation or the, the learning part of the card will be um as usual the number is a number eight you got the roman numerals there v i i i so that's the number eight on roman numerals and the eight as we had said before if you draw a number eight on the air and you put it sideways it's like an infinite sign right so the eight is a card they are cars of very heavy energy. There's it's a very concentrated amount of energy. And there is no going back. This is almost finishing the task. And because it's almost at the end, we only have nine and ten to go. Um the number eight says this is no going back. There's no doubt. There's no need to concentrate or to look at anything else but only what you're doing at this moment. 
And then the suit being of wands. The wands are cards of action, creativity, magic, movement, um, growth, change, fate. They are all related to the element of fire in alchemy and magic. Um, how we have seen the elements through alchemy throughout the eons of humanity and fire represents all of that that I mentioned earlier. So movement, creativity, um, growth and passion, faith as well. And one thing that sometimes people don't realize about the ones, and I hope you all can see the details. I know the details are very, very small, but each one of these ones has a little bit of a spur growth on them. And that, that is a promise of life. Uh, they are green. They're not dead. They're not decaying. They're not dry. They're Ooh. green. And that greening on the ones means it's a promise of something that is going to grow. Something new that will be manifested. Therefore, uh, ones represent all of those things that I said before. And, and the growth of your faith, the growth of your creativity, the changes that you want to apply in your life etc etc all of those qualities that are related related to fire and all the ones going into the same direction think about like arrows that are should all of them into the same target so it's quite literally the the depiction of putting all your eggs in one basket and concentrated on just the one thing that is right before your eyes that is the most important thing at this moment um all of this empty space is precisely also saying like there's nothing else that need to get your attention right now concentrate on what you have and make sure you see it through uh, i love that uh you can see all the art behind me for those who are watching on Instagram, you know, all the art, especially these three that you can see here on uh, Facebook by my dear friend from Sarah Lor, my friend Romy. And uh, for you on Facebook that can barely ever see it, there it is, all the art on the walls. Oops. A little peek into my office <laughs> so anyway concentrate on your task at hand don't waste precious energy on people places situations and nuances that are not worth of your time right now do your thing do it right do the best that you can and speed full full speed ahead um, this is not a time to change your mind, go back or withdraw. This is a time to just keep going and, you know, find the blessings everywhere where they are. I am going to pull very quickly an Oracle card for y'all. And this is an Oracle card from the celebration of love. And why not? This is the one that stuck to my hand. We have enlightenment the card of enlightenment and before my Instagram live gets cut off I'm sure I will be able to read it and it reads you are being challenged to take it easy and chill out you might be coming down hard on yourself or are being hard on someone close to you take a deep breath Turn the agitation over to the divine and allow things to unfold in divine timing. You are being challenged to take it easy and chill out. You might become, you might be coming down hard on yourself or are being hard on someone close to you. Take a deep breath, turn the agitation over to the divine and allow things to unfold on divine 
timing. There's the message for today, so take it easy, but also concentrate on you and just keep moving. Thank you all for watching IGTV. Bye-bye. And thank you all for everyone who's joining here on Facebook and watching on this live. Just to remind you, we do these videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We've been doing it for like a year and a half now. Um, November, December, January, February, April, March, April. Almost a year and a half. Um, we do Monday the tarot card for the week. On Wednesday, we do oracles. And on Friday, we do learning the card of the day. And for those people who can join us throughout our temple, the Fraternity of the Goddess Chicago, I am doing uh, meditations on Tuesdays in English and on Thursdays on Spanish. So if you can join us for all of those free services, please let us know. Never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.